Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 34 of my journey through Solo Self-Found Affliction League. Continuing today with my Toxic Rain champion as I've been pushing through Delve. Got Toxic Rain and then I've got Toxic Rain totems that can make this nonsense happen. It's pretty wild. It does a lot of damage. Only level 84 currently. Been working on Delve. Probably need to go into lab today fishing for some transfigured gems. But since my Atlas passive tree is set up for Delve, I want to continue working on that. I found this primeval chamber last time no all there i pushed to the left with my lightning tendrils of escalation build there's a cold items out here a fossil thing but i also found just looking on the path down here i found a boss just off to the side over here along with some minion items so i have some stuff to go for right off the bat two pieces of grim jewelry let's see what we've got here three bound fossils minion damage amulet and ring screaming essence of fear bound fossil minion damage amulet ring plus one skeletons amulet bound fossils are cool let's see what ahuati's got curse withering step i'll need to move here more totems except that should be phased Sully, monster level 78. All right, is it time for uh, Hawaii to come back yet? Yeah, there we go. Curse again, withering step. Don't get hit by the ball. Done. I got a ring. The Timbo's Valley. Ooh, I also found a Valdo's puzzle box. What is this? Oil Quill Rain with Abyss. Breaches contain Breach Lord. All Breach Lords must be fully vanquished to claim reward. Really? Only one portal. Untainted wild animals, frogs. Interesting. So you have to kill the Breach Lords in the Breaches or else you fail. This doesn't seem too crazy, honestly. You only get one portal, though. Should I try it? I actually want to try this one. Sure, put it in here. Does it gain extra mods? No. Chance to convert maps to Shaper Guardian maps, charged compasses. Okay. Well, the hard part of this is just the breach. It can kill the enemies. Big pack of frogs. And if I die, it's over. So, don't die? A divine orb? <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Made a soul eater really tough. Okay, got it. Item level 86 helmet. The packs of frogs are crazy. Ooh, there's an ultimatum in here. So this must not consider your Atlas passive tree. So these are just going to be like a normal breach. So I hope the breach lord shows up quickly. So I have a chance to kill it. Let's try. Where? Where? There it is. Okay, cursed. Attacking. Vault. Skill. Curse. Withering step. Attack! Don't kill me, please. I think I've got it. Yeah, okay. That wasn't, like, super convincing, I wouldn't say. Yeah, let's do it again. Watch the mini-map to the right. Another toll. Withering step. More totems. Keep attacking. Withering step. And got it, just as it was closing again. That's two of three that I pulled off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's just extra map bosses in here? Toxic Rain's hit level 20. What are the random bosses? Was that on the list of stuff? The bosses want to, like, kill me. Oh, there's even more. What is this? There's, like, six of them. Oh, there's another one over here. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, whoa, that was so close. I can't stop and attack them because I'm getting destroyed by them. Uh, some kind of burning ground is absolutely destroying me. Probably something to do with Captain Clayborn. Yeah, come on. Get him. Don't let him kill me. Oh, I died. Okay, well, that was interesting. I got a divide orb out of it, so sure. All right, another minion or, or items node I can go do. Beast Burrow. Mana Siphoner. I think I killed it. Okay, I think I made it through there. And the boss, easy. My Ballista Totem is leveling level 19. I need that to level up. That's going to make my totems tankier. This time, three Grim Armor Chests. Four more Bound Fossils. More Fear Essences. Aura Effect Gloves. Well, that's on 
enemies, only like pride. Manu reservation efficiency helmet, phantasm SRS refresh, mana reservation efficiency plus one skelly's chest, spell suppression, cold rest, life, auras on enemies. I'll take that one. Plus two minion gems boots, socketed minion gems. That's interesting. I'll grab that. And another aura effect gloves, plus two minion boots but with a pair of these boots you could get to the level 25 on specters fairly easily at that point if you have a helmet the plus two to all minion gems then you have a level 21 specter gem in these boots you have level 25 specters i think that gives you an additional specter so those boots are probably really good but i now have 7 20 20 toxic rains i think and i guess if there's no boss in the city there really isn't too much point for me to go for them i'm just gonna go for the fossils and the special items keep exploring trying to find the bosses more gyms leveling up i'm having some real issues with damage over time there's a lot of fossils from this one hmm i really like soul of Rislata, but soul of aberrath could change a lot of things for me here being immune to burning ground would be huge i'll at least go ahead and unlock it gives me a chance to dip into a wildwood haven't done that in a minute it'd be really nice to get wither on hit from a charm, perfect blasphemer, and a perfect meat sack. Owner's minions have increased max life. Level 85. Oh, I'm working on getting up here for atrophy. I'll take me to level 89. I got a speed shrine with a recovery shrine. So this is really crazy. On the boss, look how many toxic rains I can get down. <laughs> It's a little crazy, I would say. Okay, so now I can switch this to Aberrath, unaffected by burning ground, way less duration of ignites, but enemies can have life regen now, which I want to get on my helmet anyways, so maybe the play is to eventually not have that that or i just need to get way more life regen all right what's next here cold items the issue with degens is that fortify or the 20 fortification i have is not protecting me against them that only affects hits and i'm giving up a ton of life recovery to use the blood rage so yeah there's burning ground here completely unfazed frosty armaments and armor it's like no jewelry it if fizz taking his cold helmet two of them and the weapons have this cold hybrid flat cold i think that's all i have worth exploring there's a cold items way out there that i can't see i think i just keep pushing to the left the amount of these pods i could get down is so nuts it can probably just keep getting better too as i optimize Ooh, triumphant jewelry give me a hunter ring and then i can make my own despair on hit ring. Nope. Warlord Rustic Sash. Out of Sulfite. No more cities found. Do I have enough to upgrade the capacity again? Not quite. It's very close. It's absolutely not necessary either, but it is nice not to have to switch back and forth quite as often. All right. No more destructive play maps rolled. All right, time to up the stakes. Bring it on. One boss, two boss. Oh, fire at the one up here. Get him. Oh, he keeps transforming. Stop it. There we go. Eradicator. Level 86. Six chaos stop multi. I'm gonna do the wildwood here. Pretty much all I have to do is find the king and the wisps in these T16 maps and I get another slot for charm. Perfect forest warrior. Nearby allies have onslaught. That one's not as crazy. Why are the turtles just continuously spawning? Perfect saw blade horror. Owner gains increased effect of maim. Double boss. And we're up in the stakes. And just crush it. Gotta get this spare off on all the bosses. I can't see everything. What is going on? here whoa i'm slowly dying no longer dying life flask there we go huh. 68 quant maven invitation nothing crazy oh only fighting one off the bat okay sure easy enough that's what we're gonna do this time oh now we've got two out here yeah i really dislike when they come out one by one it's annoying it's more annoying is getting attacked by this little ball thing chasing me that does degen that i don't have a good answer for i need more life recovery i just can't get my life flask back there finally it took it forever okay made it through that you better give me two splinters good hunter map and an eradicator uh oh i got a echoing shrine <laughs> wow get the bosses with it i think it wore off finally i don't have all the duration try nodes oh 
primal and power. That's why they're so tough. I see. Stay still. Oh, ow. Nice. Jim's leveling up. Feed the Wildwood Abomination without being hit by any viscous vines. Okay. Really? The first time I've done that? Oh, so maybe that other enemy that I've been having trouble defeating drops corpses. Awaken Void Manipulation level 3. Queen of the Forest. Yo, I picked up an Eldritch Eaker. Give me anything. Chance to block attack damage. Yo, that's something. 38, 425. I think that's like 75 off cap. Which means it's time to go back into Delve. Oh, I got another Eaker. Just get some blue wisps and stuff is going to show up. All right. I don't have 230 strength, I don't think. That one's also not helpful. All right, I guess I go down here because there's lots of walls on these long paths. So, let's see. How many walls are on this? Like, I don't have a grid that I can just overlay to the screen and gauge it there's a couple ways you can tell like this is 702 to go one space and then over here this one has one empty space and it is 1334 so it's a little less than double the 702 this one is 2390 so i'd say there's three here one two three so that one goes through four tiles and if this one's 2812 probably goes through five tiles so there's probably one two three four walls here and then to the inhospitable camp oh nice there's two fossil things back here shuddering and prismatic fossils with resonators next one has five frigid fossils level 87 third wall has currency more resonators six percent more chaos dot multi now, did this show me anything there is a fossil node not one of the special ones though go for the other path with three walls I really don't want to full clear these at this point. I could. Like, the best reason to, like, full clear these is to hunt down Azerite. If you were to just, like, dip into, like, back here. Just check back here. Oh, here's a lost wealth. Oh, there was a binding orb there. And I could go back here. Lost armaments. Check back here. Oh, there's resonators, which is good. I like that. But it's going to just take too much time. Like, you could get the most out of your soul fight by doing that. But I'm really just kind of looking for the walls. I should have went the other way. Look for the walls. See what's in there. And just kind of go next. It'll help me explore more faster. Another thing, if you're trying to maximize XP, like dipping into the like darkness areas, back here like there's a bunch of extra enemies for your soul fight i did get two chaos from that one resonators behind the wall you know, rich azurite vein you had like 200 azurite if you're trying to maximize azurite dipping in the darkness is absolutely the way to go more resonators oh really i died at the end too much spell damage now i can rerun this whole zone and since i broke open all the walls now in the darkness, there will be nothing. I think there will still be enemies back there, but there's not going to be any chests anymore. So yeah, I blew up in this wall already. Nothing back here. And that even goes for the normal, like, dip back here. There'd normally be a chest. There isn't anymore. Back here, no chest, just enemies. It's empty now. That happens the second you blow up in the wall. Like, if you ever refresh the zone again, it's all gone. Prime Chaotic Resonator. Now, typically in my experience, these nodes with fossils in them that don't have the special fossils usually aren't worth much of anything. We'll see how this one turns out. Okay, it's a nice batch of fossils, and there were two chests. Like, I normally see something like this. Just these fossils I can get a lot of other places. Getting three shuddering fossils from a thing behind a wall seems a little more enticing to me than a lot of time going out of my way for these fossil nodes that most of the times will just give me the basic ones. More minion or aura items. One grim jewelry, two grim armor. I think armor is probably the best because I think with this stuff, those plus two minion gems boots are probably the best thing i can pull out of here life reservation efficiency ring max skeletons max skeletons chest plus two minion gems boots plus two minion gems gloves so it can happen there as well okay i found some kind of city one two three 
four spaces this azurite cavity five prismatic fossils wow only two spaces nothing else rip level 88 though another six chaos stop multi i'm gonna drop this more damage to enemies that have energy shield switch this to recover one percent of life per wither debuff on each enemy you kill i want to see what that does also while i'm looking at this i was told optimally you need 39 percent increased area of effect to optimize the overlaps of toxic rain multiple people told me that number 39 percent so i have 20 from a bow mastery here i have 12 from this bow node here and i have 10 so i have 42 aoe so i guess i have too much area of effect in that case four deft fossils i have more prismatic fossils stonewood hollow oh there's two of them divine orb and there's a crystal spire there's one of these that gives something called a tangled fossil and i don't know that i care to mess with that one okay this one i saw before yep bloodstained fossil no this is the abyss one the crystal spire it was actually really easy it's just the hollow fossil it gives the abyssal socket okay, that's not what i thought it was level 89 finally i get atrophy even more chaos damage. I'm getting a life degen now from Blood Rage. Oh, I see another city. The Vol City. Why doesn't it look like a boss unless it connects off to the left of that? There's some cold items though. Some frosty jewelry. Frostbite on hit. Amethyst ring. Frostbite on hit. Amethyst ring. Cold conversion. Gold ring. Confirm. No boss. Then out of sulfide again. And I have enough to get this upgrade 46,000 fill it back up time to up the stakes that is a kadaris get him or maybe he killed my totems all right beyond boss curse it use the vol skill oh yeah i love how much the damage can ramp so good painted chrome jewelers armors blacksmith purifier map level 90 chimera map and a drox map exalt orb let's see that with this level six percent life takes me to 116 or life mastery for 50 flats you know 133 okay that's the play in a couple levels i'll respect some things and get constitution back i think i also think i'm gonna i'm gonna swap this to the life region Drop this dot multi. Keep that duration. Another point takes 6% life. It's a nice big chunk of extra life. Another beyond boss. Easy. Tainted mythic orb. I accidentally clicked a thing that says you always take critical strikes. That's good. I'm sure that'll be helpful. Constrictor minotaur. Oh, nice. Ballista totem goes to level 20. That's big. Grace and Malevolence leveled up. The Hidden Despair leveled up. Minus six exposure charm. Phasing on kill, onslaught on kill, spell block. The exposure one, that's good. Oh, hold up. She just gave me the quest down there, down here. And uh, I guess we're fighting the king of the mists and then i'm going to get the hat next thing should i beat it i have to beat it i don't know that i need to be super worried here honestly though yeah my my damage is fine so he's got to go do whatever weird stuff he does with the totems All right oh that's the stop one what's going on okay he, he just disappears he did the last thing all right cool we're doing this wisp time let's go Where wisps? Where wisps? I see the exit. Uh oh. I found one. Oh. Okay, I think it gave me path to the exit. Yeah, that was easy. Now, will you stand here and take damage for me this time? It'd be super cool of you, guy. Ow. DJ frames are disappearing from that but no 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 no. can i have a jewel oh what we got cannot be stunned with rage attacks against bleeding enemies have a chance to blind minion physical damage reduction damage leeches energy shield mm, not super great there okay so leave that this takes me back into my wildwood yes oh isn't that just beautiful so i literally like got the quest ran up there fought the thing i'm gonna run back to her and get the charm slot oh that's 
That's awesome. That could not have gone better. I mean, it could have. I could have gotten a better jewel, but I'm very pleased. All right, so I want to do something that charms. Take a 6% chance to gain frenzy charge on hit. Put that in. Blood Rage. Well, it does give me tons of attack speed. The degen on it is causing me big issues. So I'm going to remove it and then put in an Enduring Cry. And then I can have Endurance Charges. I won't be taking the Fizz degen. I should be safer. I don't think the attack speed it was giving me is going to hurt too bad and I'll still get the Frenzy Charges. Yeah seems like a plan. And then just slap a red socket on this really quickly. There we go. 20 quality enduring cry. Cool. There's a bunch of support gems I can flip as well. Mirage Archer. Efficacy. Okay, I'll just wait and do them all at once. Efficacy still a ways. Withering Touch. Focus Ballista. Multiple Totems. I want to flip them all at once. Also not difficult for me to get an extra Endurance Charge for safety. I don't think Toxic Rain hits unless the pods explode. And since I have tons of duration on the pods, it's actually not keeping my Frenzy Charges up as well as I would have liked. I can get Frenzy Charges up if I preempt a lot of these so they're exploding. And there I get getting frenzy charges a couple more but i don't think the totems can give it to me oh and i got blown up by chaos damage someone recommended a mana forged arrow with frenzy that would work but that's also another gym socket hunter map 41 560 one yellow map so based on that map i'm not so sure on the frenzy charge that did not do as much as i would have hoped so let me put this back and drop the withering step. Uh, i don't know about that the withering step really is so good i dropped the vol haste and then i would need a different charm yeah just take it well eight percent increased effective withered i need 16 percent increased effective withered to get an additional given that it starts at six i don't know if it would do frag actions there or not let me do war cries grant five rage per five power if you have less than 25 rage and then four chaos res per endurance charge and then maybe the endurance charges can just help enough on the fizz degen from the blood rage because the endurance charges do give physical damage reduction and then getting rage will increase my damage yeah it seems like it should work but then i guess there's different reasons for different things so if I go in this tin way, I don't want the Blood Rage. I'd rather have the Vol Haste, and I'd rather have the Frenzy Charge on hit. So I just replace this charm on the fly for a boss scenario. And hopefully Fizz Reflect doesn't kill me. It shouldn't. Hey, I get five at once this time. This one's not going to be painfully long. That's good. So... Ow, that Degen. What is that degen from? I have no clue. Well, I got my frenzy charges up in here. I got all five of them. Oh, now do we trickle them out one by one? Okay, cool. All right, I guess until the timer comes, then it'll release the rest. Yeah, there they come. It's crazy. You can't be too good at these. Or else it's just like, you have to wait now. All right, no issue with that at all. Crescent Splinter, Chimera Map. And with the Charm Swap. Yeah, Unset Rings. Unset Rings will set this... On new levels. So if I had a plus three unset ring, I could absolutely put my despair in that. I should just go ahead and quality this. That's an extra minus three. Chaos res. What do we got here? Calling strike. Ellie res. That one's kind of cool. Increased effective onslaughts. Interesting. I'll buy that. All res and calling. Over 45k. Back to delve. Oh, and this is a dead end. Hmm. Very much a dead end. I could go up this. That's one, two, three, four walls. Oh yeah, just 20 rage. It's more damage, speed. Oh, up to 50 rage. There's no way that's a bad thing to have. Four gilded fossils. Ooh, I found another city up here. And let's see here. Fractured items. Of course, these are all magic fractured items too. I guess I regal them all. They're all bad. And, oh, I have two gilded fossils from before. Before I had resonators. I need one more. Let's see what these things have. So it's gonna craft item cells for much more to vendors on all of these. Chances of it rolling something amazing is pretty low. Then sell them all. Hidden item. Okay, hold up. What's the hidden item? Three chaos. Oh, I got some alk shards. Like that one was just a bunch of transmutes. More alk shards. Like five alchemies that time. And more alk shards, I guess. Or maybe another five builded fossils. 
Yay. Those ones didn't hit anything big, but there's potential. I am Chaotic Resonator. Two Grim Armor Chests. Two Bound Fossils. More effect on enemies. Plus two Socketed Aura Gems. Plus two Minion Gems Gloves. Mana Reservation Efficiency. Minion Gems Boots. Multiple totems leveled up. No boss here either. Perfect fossils. Four of them. Now another city. Maybe that one. Divine orb. Out of a chest in one of these city notes. No boss. Two different lightning item chests. There's different icons for them if they're war bands or golems. I don't think it changes the possibility of rewards at all. Two charged jewelry, one armor, a couple wrath essences, metallic fossils, conversion, conversion, conductivity on hit, increased effective lightning ailments, conversion, conductivity on hit. It's stuff like this that makes me really, 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 really want recombinators in the game. And this one's warbands, jewelry, and armor. Easy. Yeah, same stuff. Conductivity, mana ring. That one's interesting conversion moldering armor two of them fire items ignite faster gloves is taken as fire deicide mask more ignite faster gloves ignite faster gloves reduced fire damage take it level 91 so i guess now i take wait did i take both of those oh yeah i swapped the region okay let me go for you know what let's go for blood siphon that's easier than going for constitution yeah humid fissure that's one of the big fossils All right humid fissure fractured fossil remains there was a time or these things used to be worth multiple divines. I don't like that as the case anymore. You can't infinitely fracture things anymore. There's this petrification statue that I've got to take out. There we go. Fractured fossil. Hollow fossils and glyphic fossils are worth more. Still not even a divine out of them. The real money out of delve is in the resonators for real you've got primitive resonators going for three chaos and potents going for three chaos it's a lot more listed of the primitives but if you can sell those in bulk you can make big bank and you can use excess azurite to buy these for 300 azurite per or 750 for the two socket resonators buy a bunch of those by stacking azurite and then you can sell huge stacks of resonators and a little baby city just one outpost mana and curse items out there asthmatic serrated fossils efficacy and faster attacks level up now it's probably time to flip all the gems inspiring armor and inspiring jewelry i think this was all mana stuff last time i came to one of these yep lucent fossils mana mana region Wait, is that a no that's just a suffix flat mana region interesting aoe of hex skills damage recoup is mana additional curse two additional curse chests on bad bases a molten cavity that's another big fossil hold items fire items and minion or aura items don't see any cities there's a time lost cavern up here as well or i go down and explore what's down here because this just doesn't connect anything over there i think i go up they're in touch leveled as well so let's see here withering touch just gets a couple qualities and it's 2020 void manipulation gets flipped multiple totems ballista totem faster tax is already qualityed vicious projectiles mirage archer efficacy arrogance already has quality so that's six gems you can't do this with skill gems anymore but support gems you can still flip to level one 20 percent quality so that's what i'm doing here then i can quality up the focus ballista everything else seems to be good now my totems are going to be super squishy while i level the totem gems back up i want this time lost cavern it connects from this howling din only two paths into this one so it has to be a path out of it it's the only one that makes sense for this frosty armor duration of cold ailments reduce cold damage taken rip frostbite on hit cold leech's life is converted Oh, not this one. Got to go up one more. All right, so it can either go right or go down. Looking here, it might send me 
down. Yep. There's the wall. Then go get this fossil. And it forced me into a new zone. So any side stuff that could have been there is gone since I blew up this wall in the previous instance. So now there's not going to be a chest back here. I'm Lost Cavern. This is the essence one. I gotta fight the multiple essence mobs. Take care of the other rare enemies that are in here first. Because this has potential to be crazy and yeah, totems are not gonna survive this. Try to find a safe spot for them for a second. It's too much of the uh, corrupting blood balls. All white socket, item level 88, siege axe, four screaming essence agreed, and a glyphic fossil, two smoldering armors, another pair of ignite gloves, Biz taking his fire helmet, another one, and another one. There's a crystal spire up here. That's the hollow fossil. I'll have to get that next time. Almost out of sulfite. All right, what is going on out here? Oh, this is where I get the faceted fossil. I have to fight something called Gehenix. Okay, faceted fossil, more gym modifiers. Well, haven't found many cities so far, but finding lots of fun stuff. I'm now only missing the tangled fossil, which is the least valuable of these. 6k away from being able to upgrade the sulfite capacity again. Maybe next time. Duplicated purifier maps. Perfect turtle guardian. Determination. Physical damage reduction. Perfect pain artist. Saw blade horror. I don't know that I need that one. Really keeping things fresh going from doing a bunch of delve to going to maps, getting the wisps, and doing the destructive play while getting more sulfite. It's very different things. Determination up to level 20. That is big. Oh, wrong king in the mists. It sucks he can still show up like this. Oh, and I'm frozen with the devourer on me. Yikes. A nice and easy 5k wisps. Should mean I get crazy XP in this map though if I kill everything. No, not a vitality boot. I can't deal with that right now. Oh, I lost all that XP. That's what happens though, I guess. If I empower these guys, they're going to kill me sometimes. Especially if Maven wants to heal them. Divine Orb. Enslaver map. Ooh, I have three Eakers. Apparently I have less damage taken for strength. That's not what I want. Melee hits fortify 18% armor. I'll take that. So just passively... 26k armor with flasks. 33k. Defenses are very strong. Well... I'm going to start trying on the helmet. Damage penetrates lightning res. Just hit me. That Since I can portal out of the wildwood and go to my hideout, the next time I find the king in the mist thing in there, I should just go kill it with a character that doesn't have the slot unlocked. Just portal out and switch characters. And to get the soul fight, I definitely don't have to be doing the wisps. I don't have to be doing the destructive play bosses. But it is very efficient, it feels. Level 92. Well, this gets me blood sight. In. Got me up to 4603. Where am I at on Sulfite? I can get 6k more. Let's do one more map. Sulfite, full back up. Wait, I have 35k? I don't think I had 35k before. Yeah. So I got some Azurite. So buy more space. Up to 55k. Ooh, I can do another one. Get so much more XP from these maps too. Global chance to blind, crit chance, no Ellie reflect, barrage archer duration, charge duration, endurance charge on stun. Nope. Oh, a sacred orb. That's insane. A memory vault. Yo, that's cool. Oh, I didn't even know this boss was in here. I'm running away from Rigwald. There's a big necromancer. Triple empowered. Visco's amulet. Rocks map. Memory vault. Gives armor per reserved mana. Reduced reservation efficiency of skills. 52, 951. That'll work. I need to go get this crystal spire. I found primeval ruins up here. Easy Stygian spire goes down so fast. Another hollow fossil. Wow, that is quite the pile of devourers. I literally stood here the entire time and they just spawned around me. <laughs> no boss. Sad. Two more frosty armor chests. I need to stop picking these up unless they're good. There's no recombinators to combine these. Fizz taking his 
elementals. Oh, there's another city up. I guess I go up. I'm getting a little high here. I don't want to go above. I think it's 145. That was a tiny one. Okay, then I guess I try and take this big path to the left right here. There is a city right there. I can see just the corner of it. No boss on that one either. All right, then I guess I push back down. There's another crystal spire that is blocked off. I can't see where the access is to that yet. List the totem back up to level 19. Should start staying alive now all right it looks like the access to the crystal spires on this node here because there's no node on this tile everything else has only one path in this one has three it can be four gotta go there made it here go up there's the wall another stygian spire that goes bye bye third hollow fossil another city discovered Ooh. another city appearing below this maybe something good will show up in one of these finally two harbingers orbs the craziest thing to find in these i feel like no boss in the top one still possibility for the lower one that is an all let's go crit multi poison on hit all right i will get my level and then that has to happen hidden opulence got an exalted orb level 93 seven awakened sextants from a chest with this level i think i take Take evasion in life. I'm not going to worry about the gym swap. I'm going to try it and see if it works. I'm not going to have a frenzy charge on hit, but maybe I can keep the ones I have up and then I can counter the blood rage with the enduring cry pretty nicely. And let's see if I can just kill it. All right, I made it here. Okay, yep, pre fire. Curse, withering step. Oh, I put down the banner. I don't know that I wanted to do that. Did I already phase? No, we're just doing this. Popped over, over two of them. Don't get hit. All right, the blood rage wore off. I'm back over here. Uh-oh. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! Yo, I was in two digits! Yikes! Just, I need to just do damage. Or is this the ad phase? Yes. Okay. All right, he's coming back. Just pile on him, pile on him. Well, I got the frenzy charges. Yes, indeed. Ooh. What we got? Heavy belt. No. Ring. And then I get an Ol's Uprising. It has. Determination has no reservation. Nearby enemies have reduced stun and block recovery. Life, armor, strength. That's nifty. So I also have a little bit of damage if I can focus it. Having those frenzy charges after the ad phase definitely helped that quite a bit. Hey, a six link. So let's see. Go back through the whole path. Hit it at this Ol but came all the way down through here, went all the way up through this, all the way through this, checked out that city. There's all this stuff, big fossil there. Went through all this and all that and all this. Came through all this stuff. And I started like right here. That was quite a bit that I went through in Delve today. A lot of fun, got a lot of cool stuff. Made it to level 93, I'm at 10 of 80 of Delph Boss Mastermind Omnitech 
best year boss. I'm pretty sure I will knock off a bunch more of those next time as the plan is to switch out of delve go into incursion as there's a bunch of gems i need to double corrupt i have all these toxic rains i have an enlightened that needs double corrupted that could change a lot if that goes to four but i need to farm incursions to be able to get those so our little trip in delve will end here for now i also have a bunch of beachheads i haven't ran sitting on the other character i I could go run the lab to try and convert one of these gems. I still just want to charm, so I'll probably be hunting for that while doing incursions. I don't think this withering touch is really doing too much for me, but maybe the toxic rain wither. I guess let me look at it. This says additional duration. Oh, base duration is 0.4 seconds. So it has way reduced duration. Each spore pod inflicts one wither debuff on nearby enemies. Oh, I don't know about that though. Because when they go away, they're gone. So it could very easily put max wither down, but... It loses a lot of its duration. Hmm. It's something I could experiment with and try. Because this withered last two seconds when it hits. The wither from the withering step, that lasts for three seconds. Like, and at the same time, though, like, with this many totems, like, there's so many pods going down. I just wouldn't be able to ramp the damage as high. Because the totem pods would start exploding sooner. Hmm. It's definitely something to consider. But yeah, if I just had this, up to a 15% chance to inflict withered for two seconds on hit just give that if i can get that charm but that requires more maps which that's what i'll do next time go for gym double corrupts keep farming bosses run the beachheads lots of stuff still to do and that will come next tuesday but that is going to do it for this one i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.